Hi everyone, it's Sandy and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of ways you can make envelopes using your 6x6 paper and without the envelope punch board. So for those of us that have a whole heap of 6x6 papers and you're not sure what you can do with them, you can make these really easy and fast envelopes, uh, again, without the envelope punch board and I'm going to show you how you can make them. Um, but I'll show you one of the projects that I have made with the, um, with the envelopes and it's this one here. I've made the envelope as a loaded pocket to put in some goodies uh, as Happy Mail. And I'll show you the inside of this envelope. And the other envelope that I'm going to show you are these um, other style of envelopes that you can make with your 6x6 paper. And it's a great size. You can fit a gift card in here. You can also um, put some goodies. And the measurements for this envelope is about two and three quarters by four inches long and it uses one six by six paper so you can make a whole heap of these and I'll also show you how to make this style as well but um, I'll show you uh, the inside of this pocket envelope first and how it looks like when it's um, uh, emptied out so I've just got in here um, a tag I've also made a flag banner with a wooden pick and I just used some papers from my stash I've put in there some doilies as well, uh, another blank tag, and I've got in here some embellished cute little mini envelopes, and these envelopes are these ones here, I'll just show you, and I have these available in my store, uh, you will get a random pack of six of these cute little envelopes, and I'll put the link down below of my store if you wanted to head over and have a look at what I have listed there for sale. So you'll get a random six of these envelopes, really pretty uh, prints, uh, nice and sturdy uh, papers. And um, these ones measure about one, uh, sorry, uh, one inch by one and a half inches. And you can still put in a, a little goodies in there if you wanted to, or just a little card note like I have here. And then I embellished it with some of my word sentiments that I also have these in my store. So there's a pack of those and there is also a little mini booklet that I also did a tutorial on this on another video. Again, I'll put that link down below if you wanted to have a look. And I made these booklets with a 6x6 paper and you can get two of these cute little booklets. And then I just packaged that up and then embellished the um, bag topper. And this is how the envelope looks like when it's empty. So it does store quite a few things. And then I've just punched a hole on the side there and place a little happy mail tag and a uh, satin ribbon charm dangle that I've also made and I have these in baby pink, baby blue and a mint colour uh, charm dangle as well and they're also available to purchase and so that's the envelope so I'm going to show you how to make that one. Oh, before I show you, that's how it looks like when it's empty just um, or when it's not embellished and then if you wanted to make a closure as an envelope all you have to do is just fold that top one down and that will create um, your closure for your envelope and it roughly measures about four inches by four inches so let's go ahead and make one of these so you'll need your six by six paper and then we're going to uh, grab these two uh, points here on each end and we're going to bring them over and then what you want to do here are those two points you want one of those points to just slightly overlap the bottom one um, like that and before we bring it down I'm just going to gently hold that down a little bit with your thumb before you press down the fold I'm just sort of eyeball and make sure that these points are going to sort of line up um, at the top and the and the bottom and if you're happy with that and they they sort of um, look okay to you can press one side down just like that and then it's a bit hard for me to do this on camera to see if it's mine's lining up and then I'm just going to then press that side because what you want is you want that width and that width to sort of roughly be the same distance otherwise it won't sort of create a nice envelope so I'm just going to fold that down 
so I'm quite pleased with the way that turned out and then uh, we're just going to close up the bottom and all we're going to do here is we're going to you want that little point to just you want to bring that point above here so we'll bring that up so you want that just a little bit past that crossover part that we have done so about there and then we're just going to press that down and that will create the um, bottom part of your envelope so that's how it looks like and then we just open that up and we're just going to apply glue to the bottom there and um, we'll just go ahead and do that and just apply your glue to the bottom flap and then just close that up and that makes your envelope and so I've made mine as a loader pocket but if you don't want to do that and you want that as an envelope you just bring these ones down onto the um, same as what we've done with this one you want to bring this over so that that point sits past that point so you just bring that over wherever you want it and then that creates your closure for your envelope and that's really all there is to it with this envelope with your 6x6 six six paper you can make these envelopes with any size as long as your paper is a square paper you will be able to make a um, cute little envelope and then if you want you can cut off that little piece here if you don't like that little piece there just so it doesn't bulk out uh, but if you don't want to you don't have to do that and that is your envelope all down with one six by six now we're going to do this one here and with this one here you will need the scoreboard I'm just going to grab my scoreboard to get it out of my um, other side of the table so you're going to need the scoreboard for this one um, again we grab your six by six paper and we're going to um, place it down I'm just going to have it this way so you can see the scoreboard and the score line so you're just going to score it at half an inch oh, sorry one inch and five inches so it's one inch and five inches and turn your paper over we're going to score it at one and a quarter and four inches And that's it for the scoring and then you'll need your scissors because we just need to make a few cuts to make the envelope flaps so uh, the bottom part here where we scored at the one and a quarter inch we're going to cut at an angle just like that and then we're going to cut this side here the same way on an angle away from that uh, score line and then we're going to turn it around this way we're going to cut this way until it crosses over that um, score line so we'll take that out and then we're going to come on this side here and do the same thing and cut that at an angle up to that part where the score lines cross over we're going to turn it and then we're going to cut this side as well until it meets that one that we've cut out and then this side doing the same thing and then turning it around and then cutting that at that angle and then this last one here just cut that out so your paper should be shaped similar to this And over here we're going to bring these two uh, side flaps in I'll fold that down and fold that one down and then this bottom one here we'll fold that up and you can see that it will start to form into a little envelope already so that will be the bottom part and then we'll just put some glue here and here to create the envelope and I'll just put some glue on this side 
close that up and there's your pocket and then this part here is your envelope closure I'll just fold that down and there is your cute little mini envelope ready for you to um, use so that is just a couple of ways you can make your envelopes without the envelope punch board um, I hope it was an easy project for you um, that you could use your 6x6 papers and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.